Hey YouTube, welcome back to Get Wrenching. I'm your host Murray. What are we doing today? Well, today we are finally going to finish this video of me going to Greenfield drag racing with my own car for the first time legally. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a sandwich and beverage, and guess what? We're going to see how fast my car can go down the racetrack. So YouTube, I took my car to Greenfield back in October for their annual gambler's race. I tried all summer long to get my car down there and just could not make work schedules and monies and stuff come together. It just never happened until about the end of the summer and this race was canceled and they had to run it. So they threw a surprise one in October. So I got to go to that one. It was a little expensive weekend to go because it was their gambler's race. Now, mind you, it's their big money weekend, their big bracket bash, I guess you want to call it. So I went anyway, had lots of fun, ran my car down the quarter mile, which we're going to watch each one. So I got a ticket for each. I did make five passes all weekend. Mind you, these are not going to be like Don Toretto fast, okay? I'm talking like if you got... Don Toretto from Wish, you know, that's what you're going to get probably for times. You're going to on here, right? You know, I'm bald, but I'm not, you know, I'm not him. So anyway, enough of me jib jabbering. Let's dive into this first run and let's see what, how I done. Okay, YouTube, that was my very, very, very first pass down the quarter mile. So, reaction time was a 199, a 0.199. As you can see here, I don't know where the... I'm the one that was running 1948 there, if you can see it. 1948. That's what my quarter mile time was at 79 miles an hour. Well, the reason being, you know, a lot of people told me, and then Murray went, no, this can't happen. My car ain't got enough power to sit there and annihilate the tires off the line at a drag strip. Well, boy, was I wrong. If you go back, rewind it, listen again, you can hear me float the valves, not once, but twice. When that light went... Like, I stabbed that gas on the yellow light, the last yellow, to try to cut a perfect tree. Because, you know, I've never ran one of these, like, le legally. I stabbed the gas. Mr. Man just sat there for a second. All of a sudden, she started to go ahead. And I let off a little bit because I heard the whoop, whoop, whoop. I floored her again. And she just, she annihilated the tire. I know it had to be the first 100 feet. And that affected my time getting off the line big time. Was I nervous? Not at all. Believe it or not, 
I was not nervous. I was more nervous of cutting a red light for frig's sakes. Like I should have cut the damn red light, but I ended up doing a big mass of burnout instead. Like it was the best burnout I'd had to admit since since I bought the car, since I've owned it. Like I'll probably never be able to do that type of burnout again, ever, because it's not going to happen again. I ain't going to let it. So, like I said, all right, my, my reaction was 0 0.199, which is not bad for my first tree. Like, that's the very first time I left that light. Not bad. My, the fellow next to me, he ran a 0 0.049, and he did spin off the line as well. If you can, you know, go back in that video, you can watch him. He even came to me after and said, man, that was really greasy. It had rained the night before. See, we lost, we lost our chance for Friday night, because Friday night's like time trials. You bring your car down. And you try to run it as many times as you can. You usually get like two passes if you can get two passes. It's usually a rush because especially that time in October, it was dark at seven o'clock. So four o'clock, five o'clock, gates open up, get cars tacked and run down the track. And then it rained. Like, so they shut it down. It, was, it wasn't safe. So the next day, the track was pretty green. Basically, yes, they put traction compound and whatnot. So we had one qualifying round. That's what this round was. This first run of mine was the only qualifying tryout basically I had. So the next run, we'll see how I did in that one. Maybe you could see where I can improve things or where I have improved or may have screwed up. You, you take a look for yourself and let, let, let's, let's check her out. So YouTube, that run, as you can see, I was knitting sweaters at the at the loin. Yeah. I I don't know what I was trying to do, try not to spin. I had the jitters of spinning. And then she did a little bit. She scratched the tires. I'm gotta remember you two. Gotta remember. Traction compound, radial tires, open diff. Not good. Not good at all. I fed that out the first run. So here's my next dilemma. Okay. So from the first run to run this run, I had to put a 1948 in the window because I don't have a clue what I'm going to run. I haven't got a clue. So now I'm just throwing, this is just throwing my money away. My, I think it was 40 bucks to get into this race. I just basically threw my money away. There is a buy-in. So that was one, that's, that's going to be my saving grace. So this is going to be like my, my time trial slash Hope to advance, which is probably not going to happen because I'm putting 1948. Well, I didn't run that 1948. I ran me a 17.032 at 84 miles an hour. Five mile an hour faster. I didn't spin off the line, but my reaction time was the tree. Where's the tree, boy? 0 0.326. That's what I'm telling you. I knitted sweaters and matched mittens that time and kind of time. Buddy beside me wasn't really that great either off the tree. He was running the 0 0.209. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm in this lane here. This one. You can pause it. You want to check her out there or whatever and see what, what my eighth mall and all that stuff was. Was I getting better? Yes. The reaction time. And the toilet. So, that time, the car ran flawless. Down the track, four barrels were working great. Awesome. The tree, yeah, it could use some work. I noticed, I, I, I noticed as the day was going on, the carb seemed like every once in a while she'd ball up on me when I give her a couple of revs. So, 
I use it with light. You'll hear it on the video too. I give her a couple quick right to the floor, to the floor, just to make sure the secondaries and everything are good and clear and they got fuel and whatnot and they don't you know, she doesn't do the old Edelbrock stumble, which is probably gonna bite me in the ass here, just you know, foreshadowing things down Sid runs, right? All right, so let's check out the next one. Like I said, that one there wasn't, you know, great, but it was learning curve. So we chalk that up under, you know, lesson learned there. Let's go on to the next one and see how I did on that run. All right, YouTube. So for that run, my buddy Wiener, Wayne Roy there, he races a Pinto. He's probably seen it on some other drag racing videos, which you can go back to the list, check them out. You might find them on there. He helped me do a little bit of dialing and ciphering, and my buddy Brandon, we sat there and scratched my head over the tickets to two, you know, got a 1703 and a 1948. What do we do for this next run? Well, I'll put a 1690 into it because that's what I figured out with my gear calculator that I should be running. Well, boy, was I wrong. The gear calculator was close, but not close enough. See, this is bracket racing. So you'll win and lose by, you know, the tree reaction times and all that stuff, right? Well, when you break out means you go faster than the time you put in the window. Well, that said run. I ran me a 1673 at 84.25 miles an hour now now i needed a matching pair of pants for said sweater and mittens and socks on this one i my tree was a reaction time of 0 0.540 boy oh boy now this pass here as you can see i'm right here pause it you want to check everything out that was my fastest time for the weekend. So 16.73, we have a ticket that's, you know, sort of promising. But guess what? I lost that race too. I broke out because my dial-in was 16.90. I slept at the tree as well. Excuses, yes. But learning, yes. Having fun still. I was just ecstatic, right? So I, I got to run three times that day. Then I sat there and watched my buddy. He he advanced a little bit. He beat a couple more races and he went on a little bit. That's back there in the footage too. You want to go back and check out through the playlist. That run there was pretty pretty flawless. I didn't spin off the line, but don't know what I was thinking at the tree. You can see it in the video. The you know first orange, second orange, third. That's usually when that lights up. That's when you're supposed to stab her and. Well, the old eyeballs and brain didn't connect to the foot. It's a shover. And no, it didn't happen. Whatever. I would have lost anyways. Oh, ran a 1673. <laughs> yeah. 
Breaking breaking land speed records, YouTube. Breaking land speed records. Like I said, no Don Toretto. These aren't going to be the most impressive numbers. It's my very first time running this car down the track. I'm learning as I go. I'm enjoying it. I was having fun. That was my whole goal. Was to, if, if I, the whole year. The car had just blew up that weekend. Wouldn't have mattered because I got to the drag strip. Well, enough of me jig driving about this run. Let's get on to the next one because we only have two more left. So you two, that was Sunday. That run there was the next day. So we went from Saturday into Sunday. So this is the very first practice run of the day. And of course, like usual, to get the cars through that short period of time during that day, because there was a lot of people there, we lost one of our practice runs. Great. Here we are again. So that run, as you can see, I raced a Toyota Echo, which is sadly not as fast, or I should say I'm just barely faster than it. <laughs> oh, boy. I did get him, though. It says right here on the ticket, I'm a winner. Even though it was only a qualifying run, he probably let off. Then, you know, said track, because this fellow knows what this car runs. He didn't need to run. But anyway, ran anyway, and I ran a 17.41 at 84.06 miles an hour my reaction time was a 0 0.293 i'm on this one this one should be a little easier to see because it says winner oh yeah now we're going to have the sun get involved here here we go if you can pause that you might be able to see where it's winter yeah so that run there i tried something i let the car idle because it was cooler that day I let her idle because I was cold. <laughs> and boy, I paid. I ran a 1741. Now, mind you, it was the same weather as the day before, but the day before was a little warmer. She did spin off the line. My reaction time still in the toilet. Not as bad as the day before. Still 0 0.293 is not good. Not good. Not good at all. Didn't red light. Did not red light. And buddy beat me to the eighth mile. Yes, he did. He beat me to the eighth mall, but then after that, the old long legs and the old Larry come to life, right? You know, because she's got the old highway spun gears. That's what it is. Yeah, that's probably what's really killing me is these highway gears, but another learning curve in the books, practice and launching. Like I was able to launch a little harder that time. I got her about 1,200 on the, on the foot brake. I'm foot braking it, right? So that's another thing like, that sucks too, right? We'll have a trans breaker. I don't I ain't got enough power for a trans breaker. I'm just saying, you know, like you're, you can't rev her right up and let her go. But 1200, she'll start to scratch tires pretty good. Don't floor it. Don't floor it. So, yeah, that run was pretty uneventful. So, this is where I may have started to make my decision. Okay, we're getting to the end of the weekend. This is a completely different day now. It's not the same as Saturday. All that racing is done. Now, this is a new day complete new racing, whatever. I thought about going into the box class, so that way I could just run some more passes. I was going to take, be willing to spend an extra 20 or 40 or 60 bucks, whatever it's going to cost me, just to make more passes. The more passes I make, the better I'm going to be. Well, I didn't. I kind of went, you know what? Just take the next run if you lose. There was no buybacks either. That was the thing. Was After this run, you're done. If you lose, you lose. So... Let's go see if I lost, which you can pretty well read where this is going. <laughs>
Okay, YouTube, that was that last run. As you can see, it was great. Said nobody ever. Was it learning? Yes, I was learning. Let's chalk it up as learning. I learned a lot of things that run. So, reaction time. In the toilet. Great. Right where I expect it to be. 0 0.365 on the reaction time. Boy, I'm not winning no arm drops there. That's for darn sure. Sleeping again. Thinking about spinning, not spinning. And yeah. But my total time on that run was 17.17 at 83 miles an hour. Well, that's to say, buddy next to me ran a 10.64 at 122 miles an hour. And when he went by me, it scared the shit out of me. If you see me, I slapped the wheel and went, fuck. Well, that because it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> because I wasn't expecting that out of that car. That that car worked awesome. My car, on the other hand, well, have you seen him when I went from the first to second? Don't know if she floated the valves or what, but usually, Chef Lee set to 5,000. As soon as I hit five, I snap her up in second. She stutters, flutters, carburetor, transmission, whatever happened there, I don't know. And I can't tell you. I honestly can't because after that run, brought the car home, drove it for another two days, didn't floor it or anything like that or use it hard, filled it up with gas, sea foam, parked it for the winter. <laughs> Never, haven't touched it since, since yesterday and we're now into February now. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, how I have to admit, I don't know what's going on with it and I haven't really looked at it, which sadly enough, I had big plans for this upcoming race season. Not saying I'm not going, because I am. I'm going to take the car probably as is, either with dual exhaust or that rear end, or dual exhaust and that rear end, and a different intake and curb. Or We'll see, because YouTube, get rich and crowd here, we got some upcoming content. Lots of it. So hopefully you stick around and Get to see what I got coming. The reason why I'm not going to spend all my money this year on said drag racing car, or should say street car slash drag car slash it's a muscle car. I'm trying to make it to a muscle car. I know it's a flurry, whatever. I'm trying to make it so I can go to Greenfield once in a blue moon, take it on the strip, screw around a little bit, do some burnouts, you know, have some kachunk chunk under the hood and some rumbly rumbly at the exhaust and have some fun. No, so yeah, I can't spend the money on that car like I could, like I said. I got to get my old Dodge on the road because my Chev, the transmission starting to crap the bid. So I got to take it off the road so I can get the transmission redone. I got some body work I got to do to it because it's due for safety this year. The Jeep is the same thing, due for safety, and it needs some underneath body work, which that'll be in an upcoming video here probably shortly. And I may or may not have bought a parts Jeep Cherokee, Grand Cherokee, the 2000, going to look at next weekend. So... That'll be on here as well. So yeah, I had I've had some financial stuff go on there with these vehicles. It's got to get done. Those vehicles are my everyday worker vehicles, so the toys had to take a back seat for now. Things are quite expensive, YouTube. Like for me to go out buy slicks, I don't want to get to get the the camshaft that I want to run in that car for the said gear ratio I want to run. And like so, then I'm looking at a, a stall converter because. I'm thinking about going with a 360, so it just snowballs, right? It, a lot of money, so I'm going to learn how to walk before I run because, you know, I just don't have the funds for running, so I'm going to walk for a bit. You know, that's the way to look at that. I'm just going to walk. I like to run. I'd love to run really fast, but can't. I'm just going to walk. Take my time. Get my learning. You know, there's people down there with completely boom stock streetcars, YouTube. Take your streetcar right off the street bracket race. That's that's what I love about this bracket race. And you can run anything. As long as it can run down the track and you're safe, run it. Have fun. Because you don't know, like, the way things are going nowadays, they, you know, I'm not saying we're not going to drag race electric vehicles, but I don't really see me wanting to do that. I know, like, it's racing is racing, but... Whatever. I am into off-road stuff, too, so kind of got to enjoy that a little bit, too. Yeah, I know everyone's thinking, oh, your Dodge truck's off-road. That's all you want to do is go off-road. No, 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 no. It's not that at all. It's 
it's a truck and it's going to go on the road and it's going to help me out so that's going to include it for me today youtube i'm jib jabbering on here i sit here and talk all day if you like what you saw you know what to do hit the like button if you really like what you saw you give a follow share and if you really like what you saw and want to see more well hit that subscribe button and make sure you ring that bell when you do so so that way you don't miss any of my new upcoming content so just remember youtube if you do this for a hobby or just for a living just remember stay safe and get wrenching we'll see you next time